think you are very open-minded about a lot. I think you haven't had an opportunity to experience a conservative relationship. Hold on, hold on. And if and when you do, come back and talk to me. <laughs> yeah. What you don't realize is that you you don't listen, ma'am. I don't have to. You're not my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome y'all, come on in. I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm inviting you in to get a sneak peek of my life behind the scenes, Queening with the Queen, where we hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the black experience. Let's get started. All right, welcome back, y'all. Listen, we back. We queening. I got my girls here with me. I got Melaton. I got kicking it with Courtney, honey, and the Estet Noir. Listen, a queen got to eat. So we broke. The chef came in. We broke for lunch, y'all. The food was so damn good. It was good, Courtney. What'd you load up on? I had, I had the macaroni and cheese. The shrimp and grits were mm. amazing, and the chicken. Do you said what was you doing with that food? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean what I was doing? <laughs> Where'd you go for? Get my grill. I ate everything. My favorite was the waffles and the macaroni and cheese. The waffles? Oh, yes. she's a sweet girl. Mm -hmm. Sugar. <laughs> yes. Millie Chan, what was your favorite? I like the mac and cheese mm -hmm. and the shrimp and grits. The mac and cheese was really good. It's really yeah. good. Shrimp and grits. What about you? Too. Yeah. I like the greens. Yeah. I like the shrimp and the grits. Yeah. So far. I like the mac and cheese too. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I did, I did. Yeah, it was, it's real good. it was all good. It's real good. Um, and we was dancing and we had yeah, a really good time. time. And these ladies like old school music. I'm a, I'm a, y'all trust me with this. I want to do something real quick. Come on. Oh, Come wait on. a minute. Y'all gonna follow? Let's do it. Okay, Come on. you gotta finish the song okay. when I come to you. Okay. Can, okay. Can we use our own words if we don't know? Yes. Okay. Yes, I think that'll make it better. If you okay. go, Melichon, okay. I'm going to you first. You ready? Okay. Y'all, I'm putting them on the spot. They don't even know what I look at, Courtney. Yeah. We're okay. nervous. Okay. okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't blame Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie is just a man. And he's doing the best he can. Hey. Okay. All right. I heard him say. I didn't know Don't that song. Don't Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie mm -hmm. is just a man. And he's doing the best he can. Okay. You can want me to come back? Song? We need someone look, look, look I'm, I'm up to date. 1985. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> Something from 85. Oh. And look, I don't know nothing about Charlie or Chuck or Charles either. What? <laughs> okay. I got one for you. Mm -mm. You ready? I got one. Okay. I got one for you, the set. Since we going on when I know, we was right? born. Since we okay. So old school. Okay. I got one for you. <laughs> well, if you, if you mess this up, listen, <laughs> no, we're going to go way back. If you mess this up, you got to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You ready? Girl, you know, I, 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 I love you. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. But I love Okay. You. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, 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 that's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That ain't too bad. Go yeah, I can go with it. Yeah, okay, I got one for you then. It's iconic song. Okay, when was you born? You did great. Okay, when was you born? Huh? When were you born? 1985. 95? 85. 85. What should we give her? I'm an 80s baby. Don't tell don't tell her out loud. We, we should give her 85. Who was around in 85? 85. Wait, don't give me nobody in 85. It gotta be like 95. Give me some boys to me. Okay. Me okay. <laughs> I got one for her. Okay. I'm gonna see. If you don't know this. You ready? Okay. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heart. Oh, tell me why. I never hey, wanna hear you say, "Hey, I want it that way." Hey, oh, hey, 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 listen, she had no problem with that way. Oh, okay. You can give us give us one of you pick your favorite escape song and then hand it off to somebody. Come on, escape. Okay, come on, Millie. She like escape. You like escape. Favorite group. 
Really? Favorite group. Favorite, favorite group. Of all time. Group. Of all time. Favorite girls. I'm a ride with Escape. My top my top three is like a, uh Escape, um, In Vogue. I think In Vogue is one of the great girl groups. Mm-hmm. I like them too. Um, I like underrated people. Total. I like Total. Oh, too. I like Total yeah. too. Yeah. I like everybody you name. Yeah, I like, yeah. 90s okay. girls groups were just uh, yeah that was it they were good but escape is it what okay. what you giving us and hand it off to whoever yeah okay, okay. Y'all or can we just yeah when we know we're gonna go with the uh the ascent we're gonna start with the ascent <laughs> you gotta you gotta you go and then just I'm throw trying, it to i'm somebody. trying to just go on and go come on with me. come on i'm okay. ready all right we ready i'm ready we Let's ready go. okay Woody, woo. What I need from you is understanding. Hey. Simple as one, two, three. I can't hey. sing now. Hey. 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 Understanding, understanding is what I need. What okay. I you don't really know me. Okay. You just hey. want to do hey. what you want to do. Candy. That's not the way it should be, boy. You should have listened to me. Hey. Hey. Listen to me, boy. I need to so, Yeah. That was good. That was good. Good job, Courtney. Courtney, you did. That was a good one, Courtney. That was a good one. Did she do good? She did good. She did real good. Okay. Who can I run to? Oh, when we're gonna do all love. escape songs. Yeah, yeah we're all escape. <laughs> <in a moment. laughs> we on the escape train. Okay. Y'all gotta, As queen. I stand here contemplating, oh. on the right thing to decide, will I take the wrong direction? Oh my life, where oh will I go? Will I head on me? Okay. Do, 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 do. I have strong determination. Hey. And, and I'm, I'm not, not afraid, afraid of change. Okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> to find that someone who can to satisfy me, to stay right by me. Oh, yeah. I know a song Me and my bad singer, but y'all no, like, we got, did we carry it out? We did all right. And for the record, yeah. for the record. And we are independent uh, artists. Okay. Yes. okay. We'll take a record. Record. It, it escape, escape the record. Escape, SWV, and that versus. And I just want to put that on the record. Thank you. I, I, would, I would have to go with escape. I, I'll escape, go with escape. Beat, escape. I'm going to go beat with them escape. in that versus. I'll, I'll go with them. Yeah, they, they won that versus battle. I'm going to go yeah, with we had escape. A good carry. This is a good impromptu karaoke session. Ah, mm-hmm. I had to warm. Y'all, we warmed up. We got a little bit of wine. They drinking <laughs> Stella Rosa Black. No promo. <laughs> but if, yeah, this is free promo. You know, you know, I'm drinking right? champagne. You know what? If 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 you beverage companies are tuned in, holla at your girls. I know that's We right. can make it do what it we do. We can we can lives. work on a little something. <laughs> I want I want to get into something else because we kind of we started talking about the men's yeah. before we broke and had lunch and came back, mm-hmm. ladies. Oh, this is y'all gonna be honest because I don't want to do it if y'all if y'all ain't gonna be honest. Yeah, okay, we'll absolutely. Do it. We'll be honest. I'm gonna start with the set because oh, she ran a little stiff. Oh go. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, be completely honest. Okay, okay. Would you date a white man? I have. Oh, that's half my DNA. I got a rich one. Does he have to be rich? A wigger. <laughs> Tamar had a wigger. Mm-hmm. A wigger. She definitely had a wigger. Yeah, she did. Okay. Was he rich? Very. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay them pockets okay. deep. <laughs> I ain't gonna ask no more. Cause just so this is my thing too. Okay. If if black men couldn't just hold it down, we just gonna just go on and do what we gotta do. What does that mean? What you mean? Oh yeah, just move on. Okay. All the other cultures, United Nations. That's fair. Would you? I had moments with oh. one. Not a full relationship. I had a get moments. out moment or a moment? I had moments. <laughs> tap, tap I had cup. lived, honey. I had moments. And they were great. <laughs> they were really good moments. So define moments. I mean. Just an example. A grown moment? I have had very grown moments. And I was satisfied. Oh. I just, being from Mississippi, I just, mm-hmm. I don't know, I just couldn't go there. I just, it was just something. Because I didn't, I, 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 look corny. I'd be scared. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? I'd be scared. Yeah. But I to say, it. you know, you just never know. You never know where your happiness comes from. Right. Exactly. I don't think, I don't think women should put themselves in a box. Don't I go don't. by me. I don't think you should put yourself in a box at all. Mm-hmm. But you need to find your happiness. But, I had some really good moments. Mm. 
<laughs> like okay, moments. Right. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with a good moment. It's like yes. it's like a dessert, right? Yeah, exactly. Tiramisu. Mm. I was gonna oh, say the same God. thing. I literally was gonna say that. more like the creme brulee. <laughs> yeah. Macadamia white chocolate. Macadamia. Oh, I love white chocolate. Yeah. Mm. That's my favorite chocolate. Courtney. So <laughs> that looks like a no. I, I, I want to say yes, but. But, but her mind is telling her no. I, I'm not really attracted to white men. Okay. Not really attracted to white men. That's fair. I want to be like, you know, expansive and, you know, uh, 2024, but I just, I, I haven't found an attraction to a white man. What are you attracted to? Apparently bums. <laughs> Apparently bums. You said bums. Bum. She said bums. Bum. She said bums. Bum. Did you say bums? Bums. Bums. Yeah. Apparently. She said um, apparently bums. <laughs> I'll find that. I think we can't let it go. Right. Yeah. 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 This the party show. And then she keeping it real. Let's talk. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for not getting up here live. Thank you. I mean. I don't know what I like in a man. I like what I, you know, what attracts me to a man. I like, um, I like, I like older men. Older? How I, old though? I like yeah. pop pops. Like Fred old Sanford old? I don't understand. Y'all know what pop pops is? Yeah. Pop pops to me would be like 55 that ain't old. and up. That's not old. Like that Peter ain't old. Thomas old? For me? Yeah, that's yeah. her age. For her. I, look, like, I ain't saying it's like because yeah. I'm we attracted get to it, so I like something. And she's <laughs> nothing wrong yeah. with that's aging, true. y'all. Don't. It's nothing wrong with aging right. because I aspire to get there. Okay. Right. But I, for me, at 38, somebody 55 is oh, like yeah. older. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, 17 yeah. years. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I think. And I like them. I like them. Oh, when I was 38, I like old man, but I don't never. I don't find old men. So the young men that are my age that like me, um. I either have like 15 girlfriends, what? which is okay. If when you're dating, I don't expect a person to drop all of their options immediately. But a lot of men these days are not honest. They try to act like it's just you and they got Karen, Keisha, uh, yeah. Tisha and Monique over there. Mm, yeah. And I'm just not with it. Like be honest mm -hmm. as we get to know each other and we set boundaries and we talk about closing off the relationship mm -hmm. then it will be an issue but at first it's okay but a lot of men are not honest about their um their rotation, they, they their rotation schedule yeah. Yeah. yeah so but i like i tend to like my my type is older but um you know i just like i can go with anybody i can talk to any guy um it's not really a physique thing it's not really um tall short I can get with anybody that has a good personality that can make me laugh, mm -hmm. that has something going for themselves. I'm kind of one of those people. Like, it's not this look or that look. Right, right. It's like the mm -hmm. feeling you give me. Mm -hmm. yeah. The chemistry. Yeah, the chem chemistry. Yeah, that's, that's real. Mm -hmm. I like strong men. Like, yeah. I like strong hands. Oh. I like for men to keep their hands on me. You know what I mean? Like, like rough or smooth, strong hands. Like just strong hands. Like when you when they hold you, firm you confidence. Like yes. Yeah. 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 The confidence in yeah. the hands. Yeah. I like strong, kind of a little girthy. Mm -hmm. Not that though. Yeah. But a little, just a little Stouts. man on them. A <laughs> little man Stouts. on them. Yeah. I don't like real skinny men. No. Mm -mm. Speaking of what we like, are y'all shocked to find out there's so many uh? Men in the industry that like other men for pretending, like when all this P Diddy stuff, I would, that a lot of these rappers and athletes are really <laughs> undercover brothers. I'm not surprised. I, not I was shocked? I was surprised. Like I knew it was happening. Like with, in football and stuff like that, I knew the deal is a situation, and I knew it was a situation in rap. But since the Diddy situation, it's prevalent. It is why because they spend a lot of time with each other, and so when you're what that mean. We spend time with studio. each other. That don't mean we gonna. I understand, yeah, I know, but like in the but, studio, but, nah. we, but we don't think like men though. Men, when they get close to someone, in my opinion, a lot of times it translates to a sexual attraction. We women, we're emotional. Men are physical. Nah, so, the said, I can't let them off that easy. I, I, I just because they have a penis. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? No, yeah. just because a man has a penis. You cannot give him an excuse. And then it's the conquering for thing. hiding. I gotta conquer this. Yeah. No, I think I think that's a cop out. My. Opinion. I mean, are we yeah. saying just because he has a dick? Sorry, and he spends time with somebody, it's natural for him to want to be with that person. No. See, no. See, no, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. I think what she's talking about, like men, like you said, it's a 
it's the camaraderie that camaraderie just comes thing. together and then it's just that then, testosterone like, maybe you comes have some and kicks in that you agree on like maybe with your girl you having problems you're talking or whatever things like that no man spend time together i, I get like it. the broke back mountain kind of relationship I, nah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, get I think it. if you like you i think if you like men you like men it ain't got nothing to do with spending time that's just my i think you i think people can only bring out of you what's already inside of you but because the there's right some one. other i don't know i mean right i'm not a man, man now, but. <laughs> i just i mean i don't know i've seen so many skits like do y'all see those skits what on ig and like i saw a skit recently and a guy was with his girlfriend and the guy was walking up like call your homeboy and say what do we do when we're by ourselves and the guy he was nervously calling the guy and he called his friends. He was like, when it's just me and you? And he was like, yeah. He was like, I'll be tapping that ass. And I was kind of like, huh? What? Wow. <laughs> is That's this too a, much. That's a lot. Is this, and it's like, I've seen a lot of skits like that where men are admitting to. Being together. Yeah. Mm, and mm, I just, mm. I don't know. I don't know when it. I don't know. Would you date an uh, openly bisexual man no, or a no. man has had a sexual past with another man? I just don't have that kind of time. Mm-mm. Yes or no? You I, that's a no for me. And, and if I don't know, don't tell me now. What I, if he's rich? Doesn't no. matter. Money is not. Doesn't matter. It is not. Hold on. Matter. Rich like how? It don't matter. <laughs> like rich. <laughs> Daisy rich. It could be Diddy rich or like how? It rich rich. Zillions. You can be Warren Buffett rich and no, no thing. Let me, let me so that's a thing. no, it's or a is no. that a possibility? Cordy gonna keep it real. Let me sit this one out because if y'all okay. talking about Diddy well, Rich well, and you me, asking me if he bisexual, well, will I date him? You'll date Diddy. Okay, let me. She said no, no. If he's bisexual and has Diddy money, would you date him? If you are serious, I, I let her. If I'm serious, go ahead. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She, she at least she keeping it on her. Oh, she said yeah. money comes and, into and being not alone. Yeah. It's a lot of people that would that, would, that won't that admit do. it openly for judgment. Maybe I had a contract. But I would definitely um a billionaire if a billionaire came up to me, I think probably the least thing I would be worried about is if he likes me and as well. Honestly. Okay. Really? Just so let, fair. So let yeah. me add, let me add know. another layer to this then. But would you I, though? You didn't answer. I said I said no you said off no? the bat. Okay. I said no off the bat. But there would be one exception where I would. As long as we, he and I ain't doing it, he can go with whatever other girl oh, yeah. we cannot have no or his guy. But that don't and make then, sense because you just said when men are around people, they want to do something. What I'm saying is they can go do it as long as he and I ain't having that he sexual that. activity and I just yeah. have the bankroll. You, you can just send me on every trip that I want to go on and I, you go do what I you want to do. when it comes to that, that's a, an agreement. Mm-hmm. We have an a agreement. business agreement. But why would he need her and he's a well, rich she, man? He, a because I'm the Barbie on the arm. He needs nah. a He can go get another Barbie on the arm. But he wants me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if he chooses me. Nah, <laughs> y'all got these fantasies that are out. Of- I mean, I just don't think, I think when it comes, well, honestly, when it, it sounds great. It does sound good. Like he can send you on trips. He can mm-hmm. do this, and you could do whatever you want to do. You could take care of dude on trips. That's great. But when it comes down to it, for me, it's just like a moral thing. Like I'm going go home to this man who really likes guys. Just because I just don't think I can do so it. now. It's a no. no for me. What about a thug? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me Moses. Pass Moses. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sonny, <laughs> gonna whoop y'all ass. No, I'm, no. Just <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Every woman loves a bad boy. Yeah, How bad, though? Y'all got to keep it real. Because we being bad. You, How I, I, bad? I want you to almost have gone to prison. Almost. Okay. Almost, yeah. White collar cl- crime. <laughs> oh, no, 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 white collar crime. I to explain that. Almost. Like, like you almost, you know, like somebody tipped you off and you said, let me go do this and get. I ain't say you got to be doing anything like that. But just somebody tip you off like, mm-hmm. okay, heads up. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Don't take any more money. You know, I mean, whatever it is, but just don't cross that threshold. Cause I'm out after you cross the mm. threshold. But I'm I'm good with a T H U G. I'm ready. I'm so her it. her translation is she needs the Jabot jeans and the the Timberlands. Yeah. She like a real thug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She keeping it real. I like one like a yeah. nice watch. Cause it's manly nice man. Teeth, yeah. Good shoes. Bald head. And just. You know, I'm short, so I like to talk a lot of shit. So I just need somebody <laughs> behind me, and I'm good. <laughs> just pop it off. I was, that's, that's me. I and my man gonna, gonna say come yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know you gonna know. say yeah. That's the problem now. <laughs> oh, you showed it. So is that the bum? She said uh, the thug. Yeah, I just yeah. like. Um, 
the guys I've tended to have a little checker pads, you know, they yeah. have little spots on the records and, you know, so I, it, 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 it's something I'm working on. Most mm-hmm. thugs that I see these days, they too skinny. Not the they like five not, zeros not the to five, not the two thousand, thugs, not the two thousand, not the baby. They thugs. Are. Those are baby thugs. You see how the baby thugs? thugs they too skinny. They pants hang down. Like those, be the like, those be the rappers. Like I need those be rappers. Like a, a method man. man. Uh huh. Yeah, but he rappers. got depression. With the skinny. We going to counseling. <laughs> we going to counseling <laughs> every day counseling. of the week. <laughs> how many times you need? We gonna move a counselor next door. We gonna get up. We gonna pray. We gonna work out. You going to counselor. Hmm. Would you do, okay? What kind of thug you looking at? So my thug is kind of like a hybrid because he's got to be a corporate thug, thug mm-hmm. too. So when I put a suit on him and a tuxedo, he's, no, he got to you know, be a thug. I'm gonna show you. He's gonna thug. shine good, but when we working. when we, I'm like a oh, Philly thug. Oh, no, not working thug. That's what, what thugs do. do. What are y'all talking about? Y'all are these thugs. My thug is a plumber. We not talking about fixing a bear. We talk thug. A bisexual. You talking about a thug, thug like oh, those no. that? No, I can't. Do a thug. It. Oh yeah, no. What y'all thought I was talking about? I, I, I thought I you were talking about like a Moses. See, you see how women try to fix up men? Uh uh-uh, uh. What? You but subconsciously, you see how they just fix them up? I thought we at least had a job. I said a thug. You talking about running the streets, numbers in the streets? That's a hood That's rat. A, it don't that matter. Y'all, this is like real shit. Would you date one? Not that one. Not that one. No. You said Method Man. I would. Method that Man one. got a job. You said almost short of going to prison. That ain't corporate. He looked like he almost went. <laughs> Why is she trying to put him in the office? No, 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 no. No, what I, I said be, was that's not fact, what I, I said. Need to have his own thing because we need to go when I'm ready. No, go. I said I need to be able to put him in a tuxedo or a suit because no, I'm gonna have my corporate job and he's gonna he gonna go it with ain't me. A, it's about him. Would you date him? Would you take him? Not trying to clean him up, polish him up. Would you date a thug? In my twenties, I probably would have. What about now? Hell no. Hell. I'm too no? old. Okay. I'm too old. Okay. No. Yeah, we all no. Have you wouldn't I'm... sneak around and kiss. No, ma'am. And... I'm too old. <laughs> I ain't got to sneak. I'm grown. Yeah, I don't really want no thug at this point. <laughs> Not this uh, point. I don't really want a thug at this point. See, like the, the one, when I say method man, see, I grew up. Yeah, with Yeah, not that type of right? thug. We got him with. <laughs> I came to bring the pain, hardcore. You know, I'm mm-hmm. with you all the way up to you, over here in the courthouse. <laughs> I'm shocked because yeah. at, at this point two. we what? up. What's so Go shocking? Ahead, Courtney. You I'm shocked at them too? Yeah, I'm, you shocked at them? Mm-mm. I'm gonna come back and say it in a minute. Go okay. ahead. I want Courtney to finish her thought. Uh, uh-uh, uh, that's it. Um, I'm, I'm, I have nothing. Cause y'all over here living in La La Land. <laughs> when it, and I think a lot of women Why do you that. About me, Queen? Cause you, cause you tell you like yes, no. If he got money, <laughs> this is what it is. It is what it is. If he a billionaire, mm-hmm. I ain't really checking who. That's the last thing. I'll, these two. Well, I'll put him in a suit. I said so he can go to my my work events. You know they ain't gonna let that no, man in. They gonna let him in. I don't a have a problem. Tat it up. No, I don't have no. I don't have. They no have makeup with tats. to cover that up. <laughs> that's true. I don't have makeup. I don't have anything wrong with tats. But but the thug that you're talking about. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. I didn't know it was different age. kind. It is. Yeah. You got the you got the Tupac thug. You got the Method Man thug. You but got the old thugs. old dirty bastard thug. Well, you got to think thugs get age on them too, and yeah. they ain't really thugging like they used to thug back they in the day. Like, that. like I would take the Tupac they just got thug. Runners. They in them. It's still in them, but yeah, they ain't in the but streets. But they got like, they got they know. got runners. That can thug it out mm-hmm. for him. Yeah, go. On. I I want the one that's sitting at the house spending now, the money I don't with the room. I don't want to be scared where I'm laying my head. Not I don't ever want to be scared about that. So well, if that's the okay. case. Yeah. Then it's a no for me. Okay. Okay. And it's then a no you for know, me. I, I don't scared, know because this is gonna be on YouTube, and I ain't trying to lose my subscribers. <laughs> Y'all, this is just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Courtney Wait a minute. says she wants the Frank Lucas thug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah the, the Frank, Frank Lucas. Lucas. Okay. Yeah. But no, this this is just a joke, you guys. I I want Moses. And I don't, I don't, don't start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so nobody would date a thug. No, not at this age. No. In my okay. 20s, I, pro- I would have. No comment. Okay. I okay. guess, child. Would you? Yeah. If you were single, would if you he date what? A, if, if you, you were, were single, single, would no. you date a thug? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm with y'all. I just, I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, mm-hmm. but no, I, I wouldn't do it. I, I need my peace at night. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I, smoking weed on my yeah. couch and shit, yeah. playing games. No. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have time for that. I, yeah, because I'm not a smoker and Eating stuff like, like I, yeah, because I have yeah. too many stipulations. Like, don't smoke. I don't smoke. 
you know, yeah. I'm drinking now, but I don't typically in my everyday life. I don't really and drink. Thugs yeah. don't dance. They just pull up the pan, saying, do, "Do the rock away." And nobody got hey, to lean, lean back. back. Lean back. He be so, trying yeah. to lean back on every song. <laughs> yeah, I'm mm-hmm. not doing all that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Beyonce. Weirdo or not? Weirdo. I think she's gone into complete weirdo mode. I know I jumped conversation, but we were talking about thugs and it reminded me of her and Jay-Z based on how she was raised in a Christian household Mm -hmm. and she gets this guy from New York. Has he completely morphed her into a Hollywood weirdo? Or is she just being Beyonce in y'all's opinion? She was always like that, in my opinion. You think so? I I think he ignites that alter ego that she always wanted to come out but because of her background yeah. she couldn't show it so you get with the thug and you normalize it mm. yeah i think she has definitely changed i don't i think now it could be a little weird just a little bit but i saw the the latest thing that i've seen um when she was talking to her mom for the award that she had got for the glamour woman of the year and just the way she was sitting and talking like she wasn't looking at the camera she was just kind of and my mom and I was like what has happened like something has happened you know so I don't know this this country thing is driving me crazy I'm ready for this era to be over but she's a little different yeah Mm -hmm. I agree she's different what you think okay um beehive representer we know so I love Beyonce I do not think, I think people, okay, first, Beyonce came on the scene as a teenager, you guys. Way right. before that. She came on the scene as a teenager. She is now a woman in her 40s. I think people forget the transition you go through because you're in the spotlight. They forget the natural evolution of a woman. Because at 16, I wanted to be all in the videos, all in the camera. And at 40, I'm more reserved and private with my life does not mean anything gets wrong with me. It's just I've grown as a person and that no longer is conducive to the lifestyle that I currently have. I have cho- I choose peace and privacy over being all. Beyonce does not react to a lot of stuff that goes on on the Internet. You do not see her react. She's not problematic. She puts out her music and go on about her business. But people always come for Beyonce with the woulda, shoulda, couldas without even anything happening for real, without even any concrete evidence, any concrete knowledge, just because she's Beyonce. We don't do Taylor Swift like that. It's just always, Beyonce has always had this follow her and I hate that for her. I hate that her evolution, she can't evolve as a woman and decide this is not comfortable for me. So because it's not comfortable comfortable for me and I've already put in the work to say, I don't want to do this. Right. I don't have mm-hmm. to do it like this. I can do it like this because I've already put in the work. Mm-hmm. It's like she always gets criticism when, and, and I think that's what black women face. It's like, she, y'all got to think she was a young girl mm-hmm. being told what to do mm-hmm. when she came in. She's now a 40 something woman that can say, I've already done that. I don't want to, I don't have to. I think that's fair, but I, I don't think she's ever evolved to me. I, I see the same Beyonce I've seen. It's just a, chron- a different chronological number. I think she's become a shell of herself. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think the lights, camera, action, there, there's different aspects of a person that can be introverted and you can still pick up on their light and the glow. And there's something there without them having to say a word. I think whatever used to be there is gone. That's, 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 and it's given a little weird unseasoned a chicken, little weird yeah. dry weird i know i'm being strong about it but it's just something about her that's completely different and and i follow you to a certain point but i don't think it's growth i think it's a dimming of a light that's just my opinion mm-hmm. to the point i'm like what happened but as a beehiver mm-hmm. you i'm not a beehiver by the way yeah I love Beyonce, but I'm not like that. I'm a beehiver. But no, okay, so as a beehiver, mm-hmm. I guess what people what we're saying is, like, I'm just I'm just thinking about the last thing I saw her do, mm-hmm. and that tribute to her mother. She just did not. Did you see? Give it? me Beyonce. Like it was on the neighborhood talk. How do you know Beyonce? No, I'm just saying. When she's in the presence of her mother. (laughs) Right. That's probably her most comfortable. It's a little humble. Yeah, but I mean, no, she was just in the camera. She wasn't in the presence of her mom. Like Solange was giving me Solange. Like she was just Solange, right? The sister was on there. Kelly was on there. But it was like. 
no Beyonce personality. Beyonce just seems so sad to me. I think that's mm-hmm. what it is to me now. She I don't could know. be. People talk about her every day. She don't even pop up on the internet, and people still have a conversation about her every but day. But she's gonna. But one thing you said, she's gonna do what she wants to do, mm-hmm. and Beyonce really doesn't care what we think. And I love that about her, right? Um, but to but on that particular thing, she just that was the first time I've ever seen her like so sad. Like she's Detached, always great. Yeah, like kinda. she she's always mm-hmm. great when she's with her mom. She talks about her mom, but it's just was well, something else there. You gotta go look at it and see what I'm talking well, about. Well, let me put it this way for you. Uh-huh. We're content creators. Mm-hmm. That's what people expect from us. Do you get to show up disconnected from your audience and and then have these? I excuse? have before. I have before, and I had people tell me. Why? Um, okay, why did you log on disconnected? Just out of curiosity. Because I I wanted to fulfill the obligation of like I, I've been I do this every day at this time. Okay, and I I didn't use my better judgment okay. and say I don't feel like it today. I don't. I don't feel like I ain't in the mood today. I'm kind of thrown off. My mood thrown off, and my audience called it. Yes, they that's what I was going to say. As and a they subscriber, we pick up. And on I have that. not yet done that again. The days that I need to take off, I now take them off because I realized that it translated. My audience could tell. That's kind of like, you kind of understand where we're coming from? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. The audience could tell, but maybe she didn't want to. And she did it out of obligation. Okay. And I had I, when I saw that misstep and I saw it mm-hmm. and I re, like did the replay, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you know what? You can see From it. then on, the yeah. days that I just be like, <laughs> I'm kind of off today or I, I ain't really on. got, yeah. I don't come on because yeah. people were like, Courtney, it's okay to take a mental health day. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, cause, cause I'll, even, I'll even put it out there. Y'all need a PTO day. Can I get a PTO day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, tomorrow's a PTO day. I'm taking one because you don't, you can't be on all the time. Yeah. And I understand that she can't be on all the time, but. but with and her, I think it's a little that different. we have too. I am a Courtney when the cameras are on and the lights are on, I'm this Courtney. Mm-hmm. But at home with my kids, it's totally different. I'm totally like I'm a totally different Courtney than y'all would yeah. see me in my natural element. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think the Beyonce that we sometimes come to know and come to expect, maybe that's not that. I mean, that's her stage persona. Yeah. But sometimes maybe is she showing up authentically, and we just don't know how to accept it. Right. But that's the thing, though. Because she's been around at least 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. And just like with your children or your family that you know, you know their essence. And it's something about her essence that has just diminished. You know, but y'all are not beehives, and y'all say y'all are not beehivers. But it doesn't mean that, that, I, I but it doesn't that we're not observant, though. And I don't feel that way. But we can we can observe. We we. we well, yeah, I'm not saying y'all can't observe. I'm saying as a beehiver, I'm as saying, somebody that would you love Beyonce? Not even I'm. I don't love She's, Beyonce where I couldn't. See? Well, I couldn't. I don't have a fandom with anybody like. Okay, that. are you saying like as a beehiver, it's almost like you don't know my child? I do. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. I'm, no, no, no. Like, what I mean by me saying y'all saying y'all are not beehivers, and mm-mm. I'm saying it, it would look like I would be able to be like, dang, Beyonce. Oh, you know, you know when yeah. that person that you watch yeah. so hard, you know, you, yeah. that you person feel like that you're you can fanning catch it quicker over, than we could you because be you're be more like, familiar okay, with. I it. know she off because I know my girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I kind of I don't feel that way. Could it be okay. more acceptance and familiarity than sometimes you become conditioned? I don't know. I don't. Know. I just think. Um, I think she I just weird. think it's what I what I say. I think because um, I I've been accused of like being different at times, and I just think it's growth. Sometimes I'm growing, going through my growing pains, and I can't explain it to you myself because I'm still going through that process. Um. Dang, I didn't know you was a beehive. I'm a beehiver now. <laughs> okay, it kind of reminds me of how people say like the millimeters. We stay, we we stand ten toes down. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, nope. I, I can kind of understand what you're saying when we're like, yeah. nope, you misreading that. That's not what that yeah. means. So mm-hmm. I got to be fair on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. For the millimeters and the beehivers, like, do you all really for the millimeters? Do you all? It seems like y'all are always. Like, I understand what y'all are saying when it comes to mail. Mm-hmm. But it seems like y'all own defense. Like, people come for that all the time. They what? They come for mail. They come for the mm-hmm. millimeters. Like, all the time. That 
It has to be draining. I don't get stuck in that part. Okay. I get stuck in what I'm bringing to the table as a millimeter. Okay. I don't, I don't like, it's like you, she said you can be on the same street and two different lanes. lanes and that's okay. in that situation it's a five lane freeway for me okay. i'm taking my lane by storm you gotcha. know what i'm saying if, gotcha. if they want to play bumper cars and get stuck in the negativity mm -hmm. i'm looking at ways to carry the ball and support and drive the content and to make a splash uh make an impact bring home the bacon by way of some good ass content how right. do i loop it together to hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits okay. of the black experience. You right. see what I'm saying? And you leave the others behind. Okay. I, I think you, yeah. I always wondered about that because just like for me, just if I'm talking about, like I talk about a lot of things, but if I'm talking about love and marriage Huntsville and I say male, they that's all in. I got to say. Mm -hmm. How much are you getting paid? Like what difference does mm -hmm. it make? If I was going to pay, it does not affect you, but. The thing is, like, what is it about her? And I was like, you just don't support women. Like, you're not a woman supporter, you know? Right. She's nobody. None of us have put our life out there for anybody to talk about. She's put her entire life on television. And just the cheating would seem like she would have more people in her corner. I mean, she does have a lot of people in her corner. But there's so many women that speak ill of her it's so many black people let's keep it real yes, that's so many men black and women, women gay yeah. mm -hmm. especially some of them gay boys that i'm sorry that be way out of control and they get a pass because they identify as a as a somewhat feminine traits but if right. a masculine man a straight heterosexual man mm -hmm. would step up and put his mouth on a microphone and say some of the harsh things that a gay man has said about her we would tear his ass apart and i think we should keep that same energy when You're it comes right. to being respectful Right. I There's agree. a way that you can say what you need to say. Like I said, Beyonce was weird, but I didn't get too down mm -hmm. and dirty with it. I think a lot of black women, black people, in my opinion, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep it a thousand percent. Okay. They mm -hmm. are scarred. They are mm -hmm. scarred from childhood. Some of them have never had intensive therapy mm -hmm. and they view you can only see the world, perceive the world as you are. So a lot of shit has happened to I them. And when you look at somebody like her, or you look at somebody like you or me or you or anybody mm -hmm. in this room, either you're going to admire it mm -hmm. or resent it if you haven't been able to push past right. your blocks, your barriers, exactly. your, all of that. And, and YouTube is a breeding ground for hate. YouTube is a breeding ground for people that have never worked through their shit and they get to turn on a microphone and say whatever the they want to say and they get paid for. And, no, and, and guess what? Nobody can stop them. Yeah. Nobody can stop them. Not everybody with a microphone is right. Is. I'm, I'm going to just say that. You're right. And I let agree. me stop. I'm going to pause agree. there. I agree. Because I, I get passionate so about I, that. I have an issue with anyone belittling a black woman. Another woman belittling, belittling another woman. But for me, more particular when... Um, <clears throat> The hetero, the non-heterosexual men. I'll just say that because I don't want to yeah, um, call off the alphabet and just that ain't my battle. Until you start calling me out of my name and you start being so disrespectful. Because if I were to flip it and start, you know, hurling those same insults to you, mm -hmm. then I'm being anti. Yeah. Elemental P. It's something. Else. And I'm not anti. I'm gonna match you with your energy. Yeah. yeah. You know. If I got to be a bitch, your you mama. <laughs> you know? I like it, though. Your mama. But it's a yeah. big difference. You know it's what I'm saying? It's, like, a, it's a double standard. It's a double standard. Every day, all day, she can yes. be all bitches and hoes and yes. all this kind of stuff. But the moment you go back and you say and something. And match the energy. It is, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's a whole different So why situation. do I have to be politically correct? And I'm not going to To defend be. myself. Right. But you don't have to be politically correct yeah. when you're attacking me. Mm -hmm. And let's call it what it's, it is because it is an attack. Mm -hmm. And for the women, let's just say let's come off the because I've never heard a straight man talk about her like that or talk about any other black woman in mm -hmm. that sector like that. Right. I've mm -hmm. only heard one or two gay guys do it that are doing it. Okay. And I'm calling it for what they are gay male. It's just like yeah. I'm a straight female or I'm a millimeter. Right. We're using politically correct terms. Yes. And if it makes you uncomfortable, then stop saying bitch and hoe. Because if it makes you alone. uncomfortable okay. right. for me naming and 
putting the correct label. But what I will say, if we take those guys off the table and put the women on the table that say the same thing, mm -hmm. a lot of women feel like because I suffer, you suffer. So what? Cheating ain't that big of a deal because my nigga did it to me. Yeah. And he had three babies on me and I'm still here. Get over it. Yeah, what, you, what's your, what are you crying about? Uh, but, or he but that's fine. You. He can hang a suit. You get, <laughs> why you still mad? He looks so good. What the hell do they You got should crazy? give him another chance. I yeah. hope y'all work it out. He, and he need a second chance. So a chance he to be had disrespectful? A, ch a huh? chance to be disrespectful? To just be just that blatant, rude, and tearing down your your whole psyche. It's not right. just... And tearing down your vagina, because let's well, talk about it. It's not Martel just... Martell had a baby out of wedlock in order to have a baby you have to have unprotected sex Absolutely. so you hope we get back together yes. and i let him go here here and there and, and come back hazard. to me you Absolutely. crazy as hell a yeah. health hazard. the shit that we be i hope y'all work it out girl ain't no fucking way in hell because let's talk about my, my ab use to physical me. health yeah, yeah let's talk about that how mm -hmm. i want to go on further if i get another relationship i want to yeah. be healthy yes you know yeah, yeah. So, like they forget you. about that kind of stuff because they've put up with it mm -hmm. or he gave you an STD like how real can we get a lot of women feel like because I did it I got through it we rape you can work through it, it ain't that mm -hmm. big it is to some That's women not every black mm -hmm. woman has had a tough and a hard life. And we expect right. a lot of, true. yes. Right. Yeah, that's yes. true. That's true. Right. Not every black woman want to learn that hard. And then maybe when, <laughs> right, maybe when we're saying things and I'm like, y'all need to get over it, just move on, you don't have a life. But that's why, when I say things like that, that's the reason because they've gone through it. And they probably still dealing with them. That's it. And they don't say that. So they show up as very mm -hmm. hateful. Yes, instead because your healing to is heal. reminding them of where they're stuck. Yeah, in my opinion, Ooh. that's what I was gonna say. Instead of taking Ooh. the okay, time, to get on, am I getting too real? Come on. come on through with it, queen. I'm just saying, but ain't nobody calling them out and saying, mm -hmm. "Well, who hurt you?" Right? Why are you so mad? What you mad? That she I asked them. Yeah. Why are you so upset? Why are you about? so mad? And sometimes Girl, this is the internet. They're mad at themselves. <laughs> Because they're not confident enough to go seek out the healing or confident enough yeah. to, to even admit that they need to have some some healing and introspection to move forward. Or yeah. say, I'm hurt. He hurt me. I'm yeah. mad. Yeah. I'm showing up mad. I'm at work mad. I got an attitude. I'm eating my feelings. I'm, I'm eating my emotions. I'm on a last write up for work. If yeah. I say one more thing, I'm going to be fired. I'm yelling mm -hmm. at my kids. And all because this man is sitting next to me and dogging me the fuck out. And I, I I'm and scared I'm to leave yeah. because right. I'd rather stay than focus on uh, taking a, a chance of seeing what else is out there for me. Yeah, mm. yeah. I don't know. Don't get me started. Yeah, yeah that's kitchen agree, table talk. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's and tough that pathology is in is transferred from generation to generation to generation to. Yeah. Who's giving so it to us though? That pathology. Hmm. Girl, mom. I was supposed to say oh, big mama. Yeah. The women? Is it the yeah. women that's handing it down? Yeah. Or the men? Yeah. I know when I got ready to get a divorce the first time, my mother was like, well, you know, my grandmother too. They're like, you know, you go through stuff. But I don't want to go through stuff. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to. So, you know. And I mean, I was younger, of course. and But it was like I knew something was wrong. And then my whole thing was, I never forget the day I decided is I was ironing something and I said, it can't get that bad. And it's already bad. So in my mind, it could get worse. So I could This not is the it. worst. This is the worst. Yeah, you got to go. think. Back in the day, you know, me and were allowed to have the other family across, the t across town and, you know, it was okay. So, you know, they'll kind of try to, you know, it's okay. You can work it out. Mm -hmm. You can deal with it. It's going to be all right you into staying in something toxic. And so I just, I never, I never, I never want to be that woman yeah. to encourage another woman to stay in something never. toxic, um, to not leave, to not choose yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so, you know, big mama them back in the day. Yeah. I agree. Because that was a big thing. You had a, you had a man, he was paying the bills, you taking care of the kids. He makes the money, he takes care of the home, he can do what he wants to do. I just need to be here. What can I say? Yeah. Because Women don't have a choice. Yeah, then. they don't have a choice. Yeah, but we have we have options. We can make mm -hmm. our own money and sustain ourselves so we don't have to be subject to waiting yeah. for him to take yeah. care of us. Like I was I was telling my husband, I said, 
I'm here for a happy life, a good life. Right. I ain't scratching and surviving for nobody. And I'm not talking about money. <laughs> yeah. Shit. yeah I, ain't, I ain't the Jefferson. I ain't Wheezy. Mm -hmm. I ain't none of them, honey. I ain't Florida. Nope. 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 Mm -hmm. Because, uh-uh. I'm not doing happy. it. I'd rather be by, by myself and be happy than to be mentally drained. And do this. For those of you that are tuned in, and also, the, just start paying attention to black people when you pass them. How many of them are smiling? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. With their eyes and with their spirit. Yeah. Start noticing the spirits mm -hmm. and the attitudes and the defensiveness. You can't tell me ain't something wrong with us that yeah. we're carrying. Yeah. yeah. You're right. And we Okay, I'm going to pause Not there. Not even start passing them. How many black people reach back and help you up? To help you right. at least even be beside them. Very few. Very, very, very few. few. Very and then the few. ones that do, we get trampled on, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. She thinks she's better than us or who yeah. does she think she is or she ain't all that. But people don't want you to do better than them. Mm -hmm. They want you to get right there, mm -hmm. but you can't go up there. Yeah. And that is what, that's when you got to let them go. That's, that's the stormy male conflict yeah. that I see. As that's a, why as a subscriber can yeah. two women yeah. take up space in the same room two black women they can they can they can but do but but like she just said think about what we're talking about it sounds good to say they can and if so yeah. why are people why are people putting them at odds why are the subliminals coming from one i've been here i paved the way who cares yeah. it's enough room for everybody it but is. you paved the way for everyone else but you didn't through. pave the way because you're not the first black TikTok. but even exactly. if you claim you paved the way then that's contradictory to you throwing shade yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you see what i'm saying so yeah i get it but i i think it's absolutely possible um with healed black women with people that are secure in their you know with black mm -hmm. women that that's are secure it. in I'm this type of black woman and I'm secure. Like I'm secure with Courtney. Right. I'm not, you know, I don't have to be as polished or I don't have to, you know, conform to these ideologies. I'm just Courtney. Right. And, um, I think people will appreciate my authenticity. Mm -hmm. And I think like us sitting here, um, of course, no, I'm not on a Queen Sheba or Millie Chun's level as far as content creation. Yes, you are. You're doing it right now. You're doing it. But, um, <laughs> I appreciate the olive branch. I yeah. appreciate mm -hmm. you taking time to look at me. You know what I mean? You could have looked at anybody else on YouTube and you looked at me. So yeah. I appreciate Because you got it. good content. And I, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Um, I, I ride for Queen all the time. I'm always in the palace. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I love you like that. I'm down with you like four flat tires. So I think it's possible when you are self-aware. Mm -hmm. Right. When you are self-aware yes. and you actually like are actively that. working. Right. I like that because yeah. queens can wear different colors. Right. Yeah. You can be the queen of black. You can be the queen of gold. You can be the the queen of silver. Right. So but I, I think that it's like when you're talking about you've been a content creator, Queen Sheba and myself, like you don't go into it and say, oh, Millie Chun is doing this, that, and the third. I don't know if I can do that. Because at first I had gone into it like that when I started. But I was like, Nobody's going to be me, you know? So I never, I, I look at both of you all. I love both of you all so much, but I'm different. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't give what Queen Sheba gives. She doesn't give what I give, Courtney, you know, and the same. So it's like, that is what makes us amazing because the same people instead could go to all three of our channels and get something different. And I do. You know I, what I mean? I garner something it's, very it's, different with your techniques. And I think that's why yeah. you, that's why we say women can be in the same line. You know, you can be in, in the same, same thing, but in different lanes. Right. But the thing is, we are confident in ourselves. I don't feel a way. You know what I mean? And a lot of people do feel a way. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can't handle the same line. Yeah. And I wasn't looking for content creators. I know you said that. I was looking for women. Just women that can be yeah. themselves. Yeah. That's why she's here. The Asetta. Yeah. She's not a content creator. Right. I didn't want a content creator type of feel. And there's so many that would have brought that to that ex right. this experience. They would not have been able to get out of their own heads. Yeah. I just wanted women that were authentic, yeah. that could genuinely sit here. And not saying many couldn't. I just didn't want a content creator. Mm -hmm. Right. I understand. Does that, that make sense? Yeah. I understand that. I mean, and you and when I the thought about that, of it all, right? Yeah, the production of mm -hmm. it all. The I I wanted 
authenticity, organicness, women of different levels, different mm -hmm. walks of life, mm -hmm. from numbers to no numbers. And you're a hell of a content creator. If we're looking at it like that, the numbers don't make you a content creator. Right. It's the power and the, mm -hmm. and the influence and the impact. You've been doing that since you stepped on the scene. Yeah. Period, point blank. Yeah. And I got to give you your flowers when it comes to that. That's not like, what do they call it? Gassing you up. That's mm -hmm. real. Now, the numbers don't make a difference because whether it's two or two million, you're going to do what you're going to do. Right, and that's right. what I love about that's you. Right. Well, thank you. And yeah. it comes thank across you. as a subscriber. Yeah. It really does. It's very genuine and very pure. Right. And that's I'm what we're I'm a subscriber myself. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. It's not about me, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thank you. But, but I just want, about... I want women to see how we can get in this mofo and make a difference right. and just be women and right. talk mm -hmm. and put on a full production with, with nothing but being ourselves, expecting right. nothing but to bring other women and men together. For somebody that may be watching this, tune into this podcast, they'd be like, damn. Mm. Yeah. I think and I'm about to give it a shot. It's been so easy since we've been like, here. getting to know these women. It's been so easy. It's been like no pressure, no, no. nothing, no hype, no extra nothing. It's no. just been good vibes. It has been. Yeah. yeah. Good vibes. Because this is the second time I met Estelle, and this is the first time I met mm -hmm. you two. And, um, and I had, you know, I just started watching your content mm -hmm. and I really love like your delivery and Thank Queen you. Sheep was just, cause I always say, Oh my gosh, she's just so, she, <laughs> it's just something about you. It's the, the thoroughness and the way you say words and like, you can say anything and it makes sense, you know, <laughs> but is, uh, I was yeah. like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You all are beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. I can't believe women. we're doing this. Like this, it's not even a, like about a podcast. The, 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 just, if you're in a room with us, just to feel the realness, the yeah. rawness. Yeah. And I think that's what we're missing. Yeah. And that's not something we're trying to construct. This is like organic. Yeah. yeah. And I wish like women and men could do it more. Like you said, it's enough room for everybody. Everybody. We have yeah. to normalize Hopefully it from though. the. I met Queen at the podcast. That so was my first meeting. In Huntsville. In Huntsville. Mm -hmm. The Huntsville podcast. That was my first meeting. I was like fanned out. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want to meet Queen Sheba. I can't Aww. wait. I'm so nervous. And then when I met Queen, Queen was so like cool. Yeah. Was so cool, raw, and down to earth. And you would expect people to know that there's, you know. Yeah. Queen's been cool like that since day one. <laughs> like cool. That is just true. Straight cool. That is true. She's Since always been welcoming. Yeah. She mm -hmm. has such an allyship for sisterhood and just women in general. Mm -hmm. And her integrity. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can take it to the bank. <laughs> Literally take it so to the bank. you receive your flowers, Queen. Yeah. I'm taking them in. Yeah, yeah. And should. I'm glad yeah, that flowers. we're able to normalize black women being able to sit down with each other and just really love on each other. Yeah. And, like I was saying, I and hear each this. other out. You know? Yeah, I needed this yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, even I with Ebony, it. they don't even see Ebony, our makeup artist that yes. flew in. She vibing with her. She's not on fantastic. camera, but she's <laughs> responsible for everything. We go to Zen. Like, we've been on this vibe since we got since here. We got even yes. the women that you can't see from production. Yeah. Like, this is what we create. It's magic yes. right now. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of it. It's really good. Yeah. So, we have to keep going so that they can see that this is normal behavior. And yeah. kind of debunk it is. everything else because and it's okay. This to is disagree. our strength here. Yeah, and we do. It's okay to disagree. And we all it different. Is. And we yeah, do. It's okay. And we're gonna have live to have another conversation <laughs> about something else. Another we're gonna talk about yeah. And, yeah, and I think that's it's like it's not a battle. Sometimes it seems like a battle. I'm like, okay, girl. it's just keeping it real. Yeah, collaboration, not competition. And even like, cause I'm a passionate person, so I get certain too. topics. I can get passionate. Yeah, and I'm like. You know, this is my point, and this, but mm -hmm. I can be passionate, and then once it's done, like it's like, okay, yeah. girl. So where we gonna eat? <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's done. You yeah. remember we had that big old thing on my channel where a content creator came up to confront me, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh shit, I didn't know everybody was taking it off the panel. Right, the panel mm -hmm. is the panel. Mm -hmm. Right, you, but mm -hmm. I like how you said that when you said. We're done. It's a debate. It's like a presidential debate it's being yeah. back in high school. Yeah. It's Cut. a wrap. It's done. Cut. It's just yeah. it's over. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I always look at it, but you know. I don't know. I think I love what a set said as well. Let's start to normalize this. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is normal. This is it normal. Is. Yeah, it is. Because this is something that we all want. Mm -hmm. So if this is something that I needed, 
and three other women feel the same way, this is just going to jail anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just going to make sense. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I hope I don't cry. Oh, (laughs) listen, let me just tell y'all while I was listening to y'all. Um, oh, I hope I don't cry. I'm okay. not going to cry, actually. Just I got it. Together. Just look yeah. But it's okay <laughs> When you, you were saying, um, keep yes. your flowers, you know why I was listening? Because y'all were talking like my brother normally talks to me. Oh. Who's, who's oh, Of course, okay. he just passed mm-hmm. away. He's special right. needs. But they are so genuine, so unfiltered. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I was just, it's normal for me to he- get pouring into yeah. and to pour back. Yeah. Yeah. So he would be like, Tamika, you this, I love you. Your brother love you. You're yeah. so nice. Yeah. You're so, oh, so, so it's yeah. normal. So when you were like, I hope you accept it, I am. Yeah. But in order to accept it, sometimes you just got to. And that's what it reminded me Be vulnerable me of. Yeah, that's what it reminded it. Yeah. You got to yeah. sit in it. Yeah. Like even, uh, I hope this is not being very conceited, can... but <laughs> even for me, <laughs> like I never take time out. Like people, the people who come to my page and speak to me and they love me and this and this, I see it, I heart it, I respond sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was like, let me just go through here and just see, you know, and that there's there's things I've done that I didn't really realize I had done. And I was like, I need to sit in it. Like I'm doing something really good. I really touch people, even though there are some people that don't agree with me, but more than that, you just got to sit in it. We're doing a really good thing. Mm-hmm. You just got to accept it. Yeah. yeah. You are that girl. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And I tend to gravitate more towards the um, positivity. Because the negative people, they want, that's what they want. Yeah. You want my attention. You want me to say something. Yeah. You want to get me out of character. So, I like, I just, I just relish in the positivity and uh, keep those people close. So, yeah. you don't want a thug creator. You want to... <laughs> A so piece for you don't want a thug content creator, huh? Um, those are those negative. No, ones. just say no. <laughs> I've been a thug I'm content a thug. creator before. I'm gonna do oh, all yeah. that positive. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta pop out and show listen. somebody, right? You gotta have duality. I'm gonna curse yeah. your ass out. I'm gonna do it in private. <laughs> you ain't gonna never come over here again. And yeah. another thing. And another thing. Yeah. And another thing. Mm. Like I've, I've, yeah. But it just depends on what day they catch you on, because yeah. I don't have to put on for you. Yeah, you know, I was I don't know who I was talking to. I don't know if it was y'all and they were talking about something. Oh, when when somebody said, I'm gonna expose you, you ain't exposing shit. You can expose a fake content creator, (laughs) right? Those are the ones you can expose because they pretend to be something that they're not. I'm showing up every day. I'm as myself. Yeah. So the only thing you're going to expose is this cursing out you're about to get yeah. <laughs> and i'm just right kidding. the backlash right <laughs> yeah. the backlash yeah. of the exposure yeah yeah, yeah. because mm-hmm. we are human beings and um so are some of the subscribers but y'all can't just be saying what y'all want to say and expect us to be like kumbaya my lord yeah yes now, we can ma'am. yes yeah, we can it's, it's crazy my fingers get to <laughs> yes. get to dialing no i'm just teasing but you're right it goes both ways mm-hmm. so if you want to um, preview and view quality content, mm-hmm. you have to be a quality viewer too. Yes. You know? You have to be able to see both sides. Absolutely. Absolutely. You really do. And it, it will make it, I'm not saying it's going to be easier. And I'm not saying you don't need that little stress, but you really have to be able to see both sides. Like, they okay. Can't, most of them can't do that. I see what you're talking about. But this is how I feel. And I'm fine Objective with that. Yeah. Yeah, Objective thinking. Objective thinking. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have a problem agreeing to disagree. Because mm-hmm. I'm not right about everything. Yeah. And you're not going to like everything I have to right. say. And, you know, and it's okay. Yeah. 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 I, and I do admit. It is definitely okay. It is definitely yeah. okay. Yep. And some, some subscribers do go overboard. They really do. And it, it makes it a, um, a not so fun experience for the other subscribers having to be subject to the back and forth mm-hmm. you know with the content creators and the subscribers so mm-hmm. i'm telling who do i need to look at subscribers <laughs> chill out stand <laughs> down <laughs> i'm your representative <laughs> and i don't need you to embarrass me stand this, down yes. okay that's I your camera you. the estate the you. estate right I here that's you. your camera right there yeah I got no you. here i got you yeah <laughs> stand i got down. You. stand down <laughs> stand down we don't have to do all that. Sometimes we got to pop out and show a nigga. I get it. I'm with you. But this is not the time, okay? Listen, <laughs> speaking of standing down, we going to stand down tomorrow because it's Black Girl Day. Oh, oh yes. 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 Oh, 
we how standing down. How many of you are taking? Well, we're kind of taking off. We're How many are taking off? We're taking off for Black bit. Girl yes. Day off. I am so excited yes. about this. Yes, it's a I'm holiday. So it's a holiday. It's a national holiday, y'all. Every October 11, today is World Mental Health Day. Correct. Mm-hmm. So I gave y'all a day off. For those of you that don't know, I am the founder and the creator of Black Girl Day Woo! off. Woo! Yes, yes. I'm yes. so excited. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So That's this amazing. day is for African American women, and I called mm-hmm. it Girl. I didn't want to call it Black Woman Day Off because uh-huh. I, I believe, first of all, the aging process when it comes to us is so beautiful. Yes. Second of all, we all have a youthful spirit, most right. of us, right. when we tap into it as as Black women. Uh-huh. And um, I just wanted to recognize us in a way. So my question to you is, how are you celebrating yourself? Are you looking forward to the day off? Are you going to unwind tonight? What y'all got up? What are we doing? Ooh. I- excited about it so i have um a young lady and her story is so ins- inspirational i just met her this week okay from a connection uh, business connection and um she is a breast cancer survivor went through she's 31 years old so she's a young lady oh my goodness went through 12 months of chemotherapy and radiation mm-hmm. and the day that she went to go ring the bell to be cancer free mm-hmm. when she went to her phone the first thing she saw was Black Girl Day Off, wow, October oh, 11th, awesome. which was one year ago last year for Ooh. her, right? And in that, all energy on October 11th is is going for that wellness. And so I own a wellness center, and she is going to use my entire facility for to host 70 women awesome. with oh, sound bowls, um, complimentary massages, and facials, and... Um, uh, uh oh my gosh just celebrate the, the, yeah the food just everything right mm-hmm. to just celebrate that so and she had no idea that i was going to be here with you for that so tell a friend to mm-hmm. tell a friend to tell a friend october 11th is a must yeah to celebrate Absolutely. and That's if you're awesome. not if you're not a black girl go find you a black girl and give her a <laughs> gift card or yes, do something yes. do something yes. nice for a black you said that. for a yes. black girl yeah. so that she understands that she is valued and she is needed for this world so and i i love that we have our own thing i love that you created that because for as black women we we're really hard workers period right Mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't recognize that we take a lot on we create life and that's labor so we go through a lot a lot of times so i just Thank you for that. That's amazing that you did that. What made you do that? And why October 11th? Um, I'm always strategic. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to like my strengths. I think we were, I think, it, uh, no, I was on the phone. I had, a, actually, I had an interview yesterday on the phone. Okay. Uh, with the, and I, they were asking me the same question. Mm-hmm. And I said, when it, when it comes to my top strengths, I'm, I'm strategic. I'm a maximizer. Okay. So I'm a to my damn horn. Most <laughs> things that I touch, I'll, I'll turn into gold, even right. if it's the smallest thing. So when I was thinking about it, I said, we don't just need a day off. We need time off. But if I put it behind World Mental Health Day, most people recognize Absolutely. that everybody needs a day off. But people are right. reluctant to say the word black and hone in on right. black women. So I'm going to take your day and I'm going to put our day behind it so we can get two days off. You get what That's I'm awesome. saying? Mm. Coming off World Mental Health Day. Um, I'm here to shake up things for women. But that's my gift that God has given me. I believe we should be blessed on every level. I think most women of other races recognize it. I think black women are the last people to get on the bus. Yeah. I'm here to shake up your world, remind you that you deserve to be blessed on every level. Mm-hmm. And that's why I did it. Take a day off. Prioritize that. yourself. Live out loud. And once you be able to be once you're able to comfortably engage in self care, that's one you've knocked down. Knock down the next one. Get out of that toxic relationship. Right. Then go after those finances. Because I also believe that we as religious people mm-hmm. also believe you gotta be broke in order to serve God. I don't believe in that. <laughs> right. So I I'm here to shake your world up yeah. one peg at a time, starting with rest, because rest is warfare. So I need you to take time off. That's good. Yeah. Kudos to yeah, you. That's good. Kudos. We love that. Yeah. And I just want to say, you know, um, thank you to the founder of Black Girls Day Off. I'm here in Austin, Texas. 
<laughs> oh, I, you know, by way of Georgia, I'm in Austin, Texas. There's a pool and jacuzzi outside, you know, that I can utilize. <laughs> yes, my yes, yes, yes. Also, <laughs> Queen Sheba. Uh, shout out to Texas. And, you know, I, I plan to enjoy my day. <laughs> I know, that's right. Yeah. You're having a yes, black girl day off, huh? Yeah. yeah. I know that's right. And that's what it is. We queening in the city. This yeah. has been a hell of a conversation. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes of myself and these other beautiful queens. We are coming live from Austin, Texas. We are just queening. And I promise you there's more to come. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>